everybody, hope you're doing well. First of all, I'd like to thank everybody for supporting and liking my video. So today I'll be making a tomato egg noodles. It will be an easy recipe to be made during the quarantine period. So first, boil your water. You'll be cooking your noodles and your vegetables in the hot water later. So, all right, over here I've beaten two eggs. So give it a little bit. And then add in some pepper. Sesame oil. And soy sauce. So carry on baking it. All right, so when it's done, set it aside. Take a clean pan, warm it up. All right, add in some oil. So for the egg, I'll be cooking it first and then adding in, adding in the tomato after that when the tomato is half cooked. Alright, so when your pan is warm, add in the egg. Add in half first. And then wait for it, stir it all around, cook it. And then add in the rest. Alright, and then flip it around. And then when you flip it around, start breaking it up. Alright, when it's done, off the heat, set it aside and put it in a bowl. Okay, next step, on the pan again, heat it up, add in some oil. So over here I've already chopped up one onion. I'll be adding it in. Alright. So I'm not gonna brown the onion. I'm just gonna cook it till the flavor is out. Because I want to retain the crunchy flavor. Alright, so reduce your heat. Over here I've already chopped up some tomato. I've removed the center of the pulp from the skin of the tomato and the flesh of the tomato. So I'm going to add in the tomato. And then set your heat to medium again. Alright, I want to make sure that it's still red after I finish cooking it. I don't want it to become a tomato juice or tomato paste. Alright, add in the tomato pulp. So you can mash the tomato pulp a little. All right, adding some salt. Pepper. And parsley flakes. So if you don't have any parsley flakes at home, you can add in other herbs such as rosemary, thyme, So cook it. All right. So when it's still ready, remove it from the pan. All right. So give your pan a wash, or you can use another pot if you have a bigger one. All right. So heat up the pan. Now you can add in your hot water. Boil the hot water again. And now we'll be cooking the noodles and the vegetables. Right, so when your water has boiled, add in the noodles. So let it cook for a while. Do not try to split the noodles because I want to retain its length. So right now the noodles is beginning to split and cook. 
So just shake it a little bit, not too hard. So the noodle has already started to completely separate itself from one another. Now it's time to add in the vegetables. I'm using baby bok choy, so I'm gonna add it all in. Let it boil for a little while. So I'm gonna cook the vegetables till it's still crunchy. But if you don't like the vegetables to be too crunchy, you can cook it longer. But remember to take the noodle out first because you don't want to overcook the noodles. All right, so it's done. Now I'm gonna strain the noodles and the vegetables. So in the next step, I'm gonna season the noodles. But I'm not gonna cook the noodles again. I'm gonna add a little bit of sesame oil. And soy sauce. So I'm gonna use the tongue and stir it all around so that there'll be flavors for the noodles. All right, so the noodles and vegetables are done now. I'm gonna start blending just the noodles and vegetables. And I'm gonna separate the vegetables from the noodles now. All right, so I'm gonna stir the noodles a little and put it into a plate. All right, and then I'm gonna do the baby bok choy right now. Layer the sides. And then add in the egg. This is gonna be a very fast process. I don't wanna cook the egg for too long. And I don't wanna cook the tomato for too long. So it's done. I'm gonna start blending it now. So take the noodles again. Take one spoon. So make sure you got a fat share of tomato and an egg. So put it in the center. And all right, here you go. So next is to try the dish and to see how it goes. Mmm. This is good. And it's easy to make as well. So guys, please prepare this recipe at home as well. And thank you very much for your support once again. Stay home, stay safe.